three. The Espresso 300. Ooh, triple shot. It's the first time I've ever had a... Jacked up on Black Rifle coffee chip. All day long. <laughs> that was my first one I've ever had. And I'm like, I'm going to be wired for the rest of the day. I steal, I steal them from Watson when he lets me. Yeah. You know, they, they, they said that there was actually cases in the garage that they were giving away. And yeah. I didn't see the cases. There's zero cases out in the garage. We're not even more. You need to. No. Glasses. What? You need to fill glasses when you're old. No. So you can see the cases. I don't need to see the cases. Well, you just said you didn't see them. What are you trying to say, James? You say they're not there. James, they're there. what are you trying to say, James? I don't know. What are you trying to this say, James? Let's get, let's get the truth here, James. I, I, we are about to talk about the truth today. The truth. All right, guys. Are we live? First. Oh, shit. First. <laughs> well, first and foremost, I don't have two, I don't get, two hours of my life. No, no, no we're not going to do two hours. Waste, you two idiots. And, and we, waste. And I don't have a, yeah. a, a buzzer. A well, I do. Right no, there. No, 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 we're one and a half minutes angry because he didn't make the championship here on his That's true. Plate. That's I didn't why fish any. Folks, he's That's angry. not our fault. I didn't fish any. The angry. Turn them around. It's product placement. I know you don't. I'm just being drinking. It. it doesn't matter. They're gonna be it in my hands. Okay. There. Are you happy now? Is he double fisted? Mm -hmm. The I, I will say that uh, you're a little upset. He is. You're He's not even concerned. Oh, not I, I wish I would have fished some, but if you fished the Bass Pro Tour like I did last year, which you guys are smarter than me. <laughs> uh, if I you fish the Bass, this is how it works. If you fish the Bass Pro Tour. Floyd wants you to fish the Invitationals too, which is the same level as us. They make more money. Yes, but he wants. So you don't. They MLF losing money, winning money. But, but MLF wants you to pay forty thousand dollars here and forty thousand dollars here to fish both of them. Therefore, they won't put Invitationals on top of BPT or BP on top of Invitationals. But what but, does get stacked on BPTs, Toyotas? Which and is the best bank for which, your buck? Which yes. out of all of them. Now which I've I always said that. I opted not to run myself into the ground while I'm building my house to try to fit four Toyotas. Did a lot of other guys did. Dakota, Britt Myers. There's a lot of other BP did, did, guys. Fish in fish. Fish. did those guys? Well, fish, you, I could have fished three fish too, fish. but I wasn't going to drive to Potomac and two days later drive to Lake the Ozarks. I just I it wasn't three and two or. And that's something did, bad. Congratulations. Did did those yeah. I had zero on Table Rock. Those guys you mentioned, did they have to uh did they fish the invitational suit? No, they fished the Bass Pro Tour. Yes, yes. Dakota did. Dakota fished and still fit in gangster. enough. Dakota straight gangster. That's that's fine. I mean, I remember but when I was like 20. But that yeah, was a long time that, ago, Jack. Yeah. Ooh, that'd that'd be a tough. long time ago. You were it's like, like, like yeah, 30 long. years ago. Like Dakota probably wasn't even alive yet. No, he you wasn't. Know. I, I could be his daddy. <laughs> you could be. You don't know? No, I mean, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dakota, I'm not your father. <laughs> In case you're wondering. Yeah. Well, wait, this sounds like Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah. your father. I'm not your daddy. <laughs> so, but no, I, I didn't have it while I'm building my house. I didn't have it in me to try to, to chase enough Toyotas down to but you're missing in but so but you can fish the invitationals and make their championship. No. Oh they don't, have, have, they don't have, oh, they don't have one. They don't have one. one. So no it no. used to be shots fired. There used to be that thing called the uh FLW the Force Wood Cup, three hundred thousand dollars. Well it used to be what what it it was five hundred it was a million if you were contingent. Why don't you just take all the digitals? You had to be a ranger owner at the same time. And you got a million. Yeah, a million. But if you were a ranger owner with Hackney one, because he was a Phoenix guy at that time, I think, he got only 500000 Only. Michael Bennett got a million. Scott Suggs got a million. Yeah, I remember those. But yeah. 500000 man. Like, that was back when, uh, because, you know, everything else in life goes up except payouts in fishing. <laughs> it's the one thing. It's the one everything goes up. And it's then, a for and sure then declining. Down. Regardless right. of the market, it's declining. So, but yeah, oh, wait, wait, yeah, but wait. Right, everything does go up. His hairline, everything, my hairline, <laughs> my denture placement, everything. So, his house went up. His house did. It's, 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 it's getting higher and higher. It is. It is. We went and looked at it today. You guys are awesome. paying me 
diddly shit to be here. So quick wrap. Nope. I'm comparing. I'm just comparing three hundred to two hundred. So you no, get that. We'll, but... So table right. Are we gonna? Are we gonna? Uh... It's not fishing good, is it? It's not like many years. Okay. Back. So no, here's no, my answer, Ben. Here's my question, James, for you. Why is it only 140 calories versus 170 calories that this can is twice as big? Well, I'm not a chemist. I understand that, but you're supposed to know this information for me. Well, this one's is, got more carbs I'm than gonna, the other. Tell me, the, I'm going to trade out the, the chemo to one to the one. <laughs> this is that's this is how you stretch a show into two hours, but you can side bars. Well, I'm reading stuff. Well, I can read, James. You, yeah, but you're on a live show. They probably have questions for. Oh man, no, questions. Have any questions no questions. For yes. No questions. No questions. No. No questions. No. So we take the bill. I got. The, I got to figure it out, guys. James, what does it say? I had. Yes. Yeah, I know. Did you just hide something? No, he was so. Trying to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was something about a meltdown. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, well, it's it's cold. His Floyd, it is cold. It is cold. It was 24 huh? degrees Martin this Hyde. morning. Hide who? It says hide. Huh? Hide. Does that say hide? No. Okay, you're you're avoiding my question. I understand. Me? I Where, where does it say hide? hide. That's on the bar. The bar oh, no. Question. Look, I, yeah. the question, the, the comment gets, it looks cold. Okay. It is very cold. It's 24 yeah. degrees this morning. It's 37 right now outside. Yeah. And. We have to tackle. Yeah. And so we take the BFL regionals. Who's we this? take we <laughs> take the we take the guys. How many BF uh, regionals do we have? How many BF regionals do we have? Six, eight, four? No, no. not re, there's six or eight regionals. There's regionals in the Toyotas? Regionals. No, no, BFL regionals. Oh my gosh, at least five. Five or yeah, six. Five or six, right. It's okay. Just, we take we take the champion from the BFL regionals, send him to the red breast. We take, we take the, the, <laughs> and the we take the, angler, we take the top three from the Toyota uh, divisions, Angler of the Year, send them to the Red Breast, and then you take the Invitationals, which is what the Bass Pro no. Tour will be, and you send thirty of those guys to the Red Breast. You got a fifty-man field. You get rid of the All American. You get rid of the Toyota Championship. No, the, you make the Red Breast. All American gets to the Red Breast. The just all American champion, right? Yeah, now I'm offering you more opportunities to get to the red breast. Why? I'm just getting rid of all American. So why does it give you more opportunities? Because you take you take the top two from every, each of the five regionals, which is ten guys to okay. the red breast. I'm talking about from Toyotas. Is this actual or this is not? I'll, I'll shut up and you guys can run. No, no, we're asking questions. Gosh, dang it, okay. don't start. We haven't even okay. got. No, I'm glad I can't get us a fucking word in. We're asking questions. Beep. Beep. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying, we're going to get rid of it. We're trying to, are we trying to eliminate money in the MLF so that people can have jobs? I mean, that's, that's what I'm getting at. So why are we pushing money around? If you want to get rid of things, quit having All-American, don't have a Toyota Series championship. Those guys instead go to the Red Breast championship and we fish for a million dollars first place. What about the high school and the college? One high the school guy, with the elementary guy, one high school guy, one kindergarten guy, one guy from the college series, and the, and the Girl Scout that sells the most cookies all go to Red Breast. <laughs> now we got a 50 person field. And Boyd. And Boyd's automatic, automatic in. in. Okay. Now we got one championship for our whole league. Because I, I find it ironic that there's so many carrots dangled in this sport, and we all are, are chasing those carrots. I'm not well, some people okay, are. Okay, but, but All American Champion, and this is not a diss against All American Champion, it's not his fault. This is the league's decision. The All American Champion gets to come to the Red Breast. Does the Red Breast Champion get to come fish the All American? Does the Red Breast Champion get to come to the Toyota Series Championship? Does our right. angler of the year? No, no, you they don't. That? no yeah. we can't go down. Everybody what about the Heisman Trophy. Trophy. That's well, true. He's invited. invited. Is he invited as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure. I'm just saying, there's so many ways. One of Boyd's things for downsizing our field was, well, it's too many. It's, when you have a big field on the water and you're covering the cut line, which we have what seven cameras out during this whole process. What is a cut line? Twenty. Twenty is a cut line right now on the BPT. He's got the cameras from 18 to 22. 
I was just going to say the guy who said James is angry is correct because you can tell James, relax. It's okay. We love you. No, because <clears throat> I'm not going to be told I'm not a professional because you moved the fucking goal. I didn't tell you that, James. I, got I, you I didn't tell you that. I'm either. upset because I, the goal post doesn't have to be I, moved for $300,000. Hey, look at yourself. How about this? But you we're to be Steph, Steph Curry, and they're changing the three point line because you I don't even know who Steph Curry is. You don't know who Steph Curry is? No, but I'll take okay. your word for it. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. Does he know who NBA? What, does he know who Ish Monroe is? He might. Why are goalposts moved? Why are goalposts to save three hundred thousand dollars? Well, yeah. Uh, go. Well, I was going to go a little bit more into that. Goalposts are moved. It, MLF from day one, and that's why that's why I've said this. MLF from day one, the goalposts are moved not to make things better. They do. They change the goalposts based on public opinion slash this. And now, in my opinion, the entire goalposts are being moved because of money, and the, and they're trying to bail water out of a sinking ship, and they're trying to figure it out. And when you start moving the goalposts that for that reason. That's not a, if you're like, hey, we're gonna move the goalposts and try to make everything better. That's that's not what they're doing. They might say they are, but that's not what they're doing. Oh, that's what they're saying they're doing. But we fifty man field again. When you're following the cut, they line, should have done the fifty man field from day one if that was the case. The, we did. We had that. We had forty eight guys. No, I know who, who committed their life to pulling the rope, and it's then the, the rope was dropped. Yeah. Now don't know which way to pull it. Don't pull it. Well, no, everybody's pulling. They're pulling in different ways. Right. You know, you have this group pulling it this way. You have this group pulling it this way. This group pulling it this way. This yeah. group pulling it this way. Yeah. yeah. And so the rope doesn't get pulled in the same direction, and everybody loses out. What, yeah. what I like to say is for all the people watching, how how many of all these anglers? How many how many have you heard from? How many have I heard from? I'm not. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm how not much has the public? No, no. Oh, we talk from those guys. Maybe like. Less than 10. Well, I haven't listened to the Wheelers on BTL. I did listen to Jordan's BTL, some of it, but Jordan, what did Jordan say? He was he, he kept it at an arm's length. Because I I, I mean yeah. I and, and you know I respect Jordan. He he kept it at an arm's length, you know. So but are anglers really getting out there and saying how they feel about things? No, they're, they're not. not. And, and they're, they're not. not. They're absolutely not. When I when I hear about all this stuff and I started thinking about like you know how we all get different perspectives when we just based on whatever it was. So like when I listen to all this and start thinking about it, like just random thoughts out there on the water over the last days when it's, you know, been 28 degrees every day and it's miserable. I was like, man, I'm, I've never seen fishermen be so wrapped up in a prison before in my life. Like they are prisoners of MLF to where they're paying an entry fee. They're not higher in, entry fee. Higher entry fee. They're not employees. Right. And they are scared to death. Like they're customers who are scared to death. I make this analogy. If you went into McDonald's, right? Like, hey, I like to order this, right? And then you get it and it's wrong. And they're like, hey, man, go take it back. They got your order wrong. And you're like, uh-uh. Uh-uh, man. No, 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 no. They might not ever let me in McDonald's ever again. And right. they might double charge me on my credit card. Right. That sounds like, hey, if, if this is what it is. You got to sign these contracts. Pay us, by the way. Right. And then if we, we don't like what you say, you can get fined. We might kick you out. Who knows what? It's like, it's such a dictator. It's, it's, it's a, and they're scared to death. And you know what they're all trying to do? You miss Scared to death, they might not get to hey, fish. Hey, you missed, they're not long-term. You, missed, you missed the part about the contract. There's a part in the contract where they ask you for your sponsors. So that they can make the phone calls. Oh, does it, please share with people that have no <laughs> idea about this. Because I guarantee you. And, and appen- this isn't them. This appendix, is Appendix A of any contract I've ever signed. Attachment A, Appendix A. At the end of the very contract, they say, "Please list all your current paying sponsors and list all your current product." On what do they need? What do they why need? Would, for, Jay? Why would they? Yeah. Why would they ask that well, random I'm gonna question? I'm going to give Please you. Tell I'm going to give you. Tell one, me. I'm going to give you one answer first, and then you're going to get the second answer. Oh, why do I have to give the second answer? Why can't I be the first answer? Well, because you just asked me to say it. Okay. So I'm taking the <laughs> <laughs> They want to know so that when we come to a cup, it's major league fishing. When we come to a cup or we come to a televised broadcast, that we don't have a conflicting 
Uh, oh, the, the politically correct answer is what he just gave. Yes, he's given the political. This correct. is what, oh, we're not, told. what they're not expecting the politically correct answer from you, Mr. Well, Watson. Mr. Gonna, Watson, yeah, you're giving them uh, no. You're going to give them. No, you're going to give no. I was going to so, give the politically correct answer. No. You're supposed to give the actual answer because you're JMFW well, World because God. if they don't spam one W. If I was paying me as a shitty salesman, it's never been able to sell anything. <laughs> yeah. You know, as a this poor marketer, this right? was, and somebody doesn't have you. a clue on how to sell anything, yeah, they feel like if I can get paid by such and such company, then they can get paid bigger from said such and such company. Wait a minute. So, like, you're telling, I, like, I don't know if I'm, I'm not the smartest guy. So, Scott Ashmore so, Ferguson. So, let me tell you something. So, like, so if I bring in Dennis. So if I bring in a sponsor, you're telling me, hey, look, they're going to undercut me and say, hey, look at everything. No, no, I'm not saying they're going to undercut you. I'm saying There's that you have just handed it. <laughs> that you no, no, they're they're going to over. Yeah, they're going to yeah. cut you, period. Yeah. yeah. No, no, they don't do that. Don't biscuit, my dog. My we love you, Biscuit. My dog. He's gonna, that dog's going to go forced but, by but, the end of the week. Yeah. The, the Biscuit's bleeping James. That's yeah. what he was doing. So, <laughs> that bleep beep. But, but so for, for like, Cup events and so on and so forth. If but I'm not talking about cup events, we're talking about your current. They still contract. ask you in the contract to write those down, and this is what they'll tell you. Because if you do a cup event, and I'm there's uh, no such thing as cup events anymore. They kill okay, the cup events. I'll quit answering your question. <laughs> but there's no cup events. You're talking about there's cup events. There's no more cup events. Okay, then then they won't ask us ever again for yes, a they, sponsor. Yes, they will. Okay, they're asking for other reasons. Got it. We love you, James. So. <laughs> he's back on his phone. He's back yeah. on his phone. Go forward, guys. No, 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 no we're just. We're, I haven't even said anything. Once again, we're here to basically ex tell the truth. I don't think Not, people realize it, but yeah. I, James, I don't think people. I had no clue about this until I started hearing it from y'all. That basically what happens is, this, James, you're one hundred percent right about everything that's going on right I'm, now. They, they, they definitely don't want conflicts, right? They don't want conflicts. You're you you told how it is and what's going on about guys losing their careers, basically. You know, for you, you're fortunate to have something and other things besides just fishing. Yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna survive, you're gonna survive. You're gonna survive. Yeah, I got other but business. there are certain guys out there that this their only it. source of income is professional bass fishing, yeah. and those guys are <coughs> gone. I don't I don't think David Walker has ever known anything else but bass fishing. Right. John Murray's I know for a fact has known nothing but bass fishing for his entire career. Mm -hmm. And so now you're told to basically jump down to a lower level where you're not going to get the exposure because to, and try to prove yourself to be in this level that you already were. Right. But at the same time, they're still not doing what's correct about what I call the cheaters. Once again, the guys who get polygraphed, who fail the polygraph, they find them. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're getting quit down hate, the lane. I'm quit, gonna, I'm quit gonna, hate because no. you, can't, you can't call out cheaters because everyone just says, oh, you're hating. I mean, these, I don't think people have any idea that we, but my, all the bad stuff that goes on that they hide. Dude, it is driving me insane. It drives but we get done with the tournament. But, but and me you and you are like, did you hear about but, all this? And I'm like, yeah, nothing happened. But but here's the guy. You Same have a guy, but you have a guy like James Watson, John Murray, David Walker, and others who have never failed a polygraph test. Who, once again, now you have to compete against guys who are failing polygraph tests and beat them to get back to that higher level to doing what? You know, competing against guys who, for years, it's been happening for years. I think a polygraph test is the league's mechanism to to scare guys. But what about let's let's get away. Let's get away. Let's get away. Okay, but let's get away. Let's get away. Okay, let's a polygraph. But let's get away from the polygraph. They're not a joke in what they pass or not. They're a joke in how they're enforced. That's right. But let's get away from the polygraph side. Let's go to the actual guys who have been. Caught physically, caught. Caught. physically yeah, caught. Yeah, we're yeah. not talking about failing progress, we're talking about oh, we have this information, oh, we have your text messages of you receiving information and not having anything happen to you and allowing you to continue. And everyone knows about it, and there's nothing, and, and there's, about it. right? I'm there's not telling so you many conflicts of interest in our sport that are policed in different sports thoroughly. 
If you beat your wife in bass fishing, you can be swept under the rug. If you beat your wife as a football player, it doesn't get swept under the rug. If you steal a hundred thousand dollars in a tournament, well, it depends. Depends on how good you are. Depends on how good you are. So, I mean, well, here it depends on who. Like, so, and I will say this. So, like, the sponsor thing was was really crazy news to me. That I, I was like, really, they're they're like they're making those phone calls behind anglers back. And the other things happening too with the sponsors is. If you're a, if you're a major sponsor of freaking MLF or Bassmaster, like a major one, and then your your freaking head guy gets in trouble, do your th- those phone calls aren't being made. I, well, it's happening. To, I'm just saying, look, with the conflict of interest. Well, we are, we're, 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 but we're starting, but we're starting to see, and even because Bass is actually doing it, they are disqualifying guys who. Are breaking the rules with some of their major sponsors. No, 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 so they're, they're doing. They're doing. Right. A, they're yeah. doing it better. I'm saying, but even in years past, it was, oh yeah, that's what for I'm every saying. for yeah for. There was. I don't understand why in fishing there in in it's the number one comment that those guys make. And y'all both hear what it was the number one comment that someone says about they don't want to do what to that angler, ruin their career, hurt his reputation, ruin his career. career. So, but they're ruining thirty guys' careers by basically zero problem career. with that. Yeah, they have no problem with ruining those guys' careers. Zero. I've been in that situation. I told it on, on Luke's, yeah. Luke's show. I was in a situation where I know the guy in front of me. Conflict of interest. Would, had had two inconclusive polygraph tests. I was, the, I was there. The guy told me when I, I walked in, sorry it took so long. I want to ask you a few questions so I can better understand your sport. Blah, blah, blah. But you didn't fail. No, I did not fail. No, of course But not. when I come out... You got fired. <laughs> when I come out, I'm like, I think I'm going to get the fish tomorrow. It's just like, why? You finished below the cut line. You know, and I said, I said, because one of the guys ahead of me had two inconclusives. And the inconclusive means that, that they were not good. And what they is didn't not, pass. They didn't what pass. What does not good they mean? Well, I yeah. mean, there's so many ways to... To word this whole situation, they so don't have to hold this. I'm going to get another day of TV time. Not trying to sink anybody's battleship. Ish signed the same disclosure, not a non-disclosure, or, or what was that? Yeah, the NDA. Yeah, uh, that I signed, and I spoke to another angler at dinner, and I said, I think, I think I'm going to get to fish another day. Well, later on that throughout that day, I tried to find Gary and Boyd and talk to him and. Want to go this way? And you should have just set up for management. But they, you, they, uh, well, they avoided me on purpose because uh, they were trying to figure out how to handle a situation that wasn't a situation, but it was. It wasn't a situation and because it, all you do is clear, cut, and dry that it, they had an inconclusive, and basically, an inconclusive is not passing. Well, they and not passing means you failed. So when I finally failed. got in front of Boyd and 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 told him. Or I'm saying moisture. Yeah, I'm like fishing again tomorrow. He goes, What are you talking about? I said, Because of what you know about. I don't know what you're talking about. I and I'm like answer some questions. And I'm like, Yeah, you <laughs> I said, Yeah, you do. I said, Well, I'll inform you then. And he goes, Nope. And I said, Well, I guess I'll pack my shit in my truck and head home. He says, Oh, we can and yeah, he says yes, we're he you. says later, and I drove him home. Well, a week later, I get an email saying we're going to find you for breach of confidentiality agreement. You could have hurt the league and our image, and you could hurt this angler's career and his image, and blah 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 for discussing this openly. And I'm like, I only discussed it with the same guys, the same same disclosure. I didn't call, right? I didn't call Todd at Bass Band. I didn't call Spank at Merc or. Ranger, I didn't call. I didn't call anybody outside my group of friends that are that all signed the same non disclosure. Yeah. So I verbally appealed this and took a whole year. And guess in between all that, guess what? I could never get your money back. No, <laughs> a phone call from. <laughs> well, of course. Okay. So the next year comes around. Whole twelve months later, and, um, <laughs> Kelly Jordan calls me and says, "James, we're going to enforce that four thousand dollar." Fine. I said, you didn't 
get this reduced? No. Nope. I said, even after my verbal appeal and had another anger on my back, say something? Nope. So you're not, hey, okay. hey, yeah. so you're not allowed to fish and oh, find $4,000. Well, you do you yeah. guys want another great story? Yeah. Well, yeah. it doesn't end there. Not only, <laughs> not only, not only did he say, we're going to, we're going to take this 4,000 bucks. He said, we're going to, but don't be, don't worry. We're going to take it out of future earnings. I said, okay, what are you thinking? $500 a bin? Oh no, we're going to take it from the next two selects where we paid $2,000 a piece. We're going to take one then, one then, 4,000 is done. And I said, hold on a second. If this been any other angle, you taking in $50 installments for the next 50 years. Kelly's response is, oh, James, you've got the money. So okay, do you have got James, money? James, I, if I got the money had it like that, I'm staying your house. I didn't know you just, had it like that, just like that. Well, I'm like, no, that's not that. Don't financially <laughs> profile me. How about? I'm just Hey, is that like Kelly's fault? Do we keep just, keep that, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that okay to financially profile somebody? Yeah, I don't know about right. that. You well, financially profile. Hey, hey, hey James, do you think that was bad? How about being fined? For a rule that was not even in place, then that's not a rule. That's what I thought. But once again, instead of paying me, they once again created a rule after after the fact yeah. that the rule wasn't there and fined me yeah. and took the money and didn't even give me an opportunity to appeal. So they found a way to be well, mad at you for the rule, prophetic rule. Yeah. So the first event, we basically. Fast forward to a like brand the new the BPT, the first event down in Florida. I'm on live because I'm catching the crap out of it. So my deal was, is I was sitting here and they were asking me like, so what's going on? And I'm like, yeah, we're fishing down this bank and it's pretty cool. And I go, well, if they don't bite, I go beep it, the F word, said beep it, we're just going to go somewhere else. Didn't say it towards another angler. Didn't say yeah. it towards a fan. Didn't say it at the camera. Just said, hey, we're going to beep it and go somewhere else. And somewhere in that deal, they figured out that they're going to find me. And I go, is it a rule that's in place? They said, no, but we're implementing that rule. So I got fined for a rule that wasn't in place. They took the money and never even gave me an opportunity to appeal. So you think yours is bad? How, How many times have they done stuff like this? I have no idea. To not just not me. that, but just this, like this, like lots. How many are there? A lot of fines given out. I don't know. Oh. The guys that get them don't say don't anything. say anything. Once again, the no comments from people. Right. They're like everyone's yeah. scared to death to make a comment yeah. about it. But my hey, me deal wasn't. It wasn't about I was scared to make a comment about it. It wasn't anybody. Not you. At that no, time. no, 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 right. no. But now you it's said it. Like, I'm saying most right. people are scared to death. Right. Like they're they are in. I don't think. It's the number one thing I'm getting from all this stuff are these guys that are just they're quiet. Are tired. They, they, they are so they're scared to talk, they're scared to do anything about it. And and the crazy part about it is is when I when I think about this stuff, you got guys that have no problem speaking out against it, right? Right. Then there's this other group of guys that this the guys that are not sure. that aren't gonna get kicked out. Disturbed. And they're so happy to go fish another Disturbed. year, but but they're not. Well, that is a job security thing. I mean, job, okay, so my question is this: If I was in the top thirty-five, would I still say what I'm saying now? Then, okay, absolutely. Then, absolutely. Would, would you? Would, I would. You, would you think? Would, what is there any job security in them it being around for two years? Hats. No. So if if you see a ship sinking. Wouldn't you want to stand up and kind of speak on behalf of trying to like save the ship? I, they don't even do no, that. No, it's like, not saving the ship. You, you you bail on the ship. I know. I do. Know well, that's what I'm saying. I know, I know two guys last year that that did that. They they. I didn't say those. I, <laughs> not those two. I said there's thirty. There's guys out there that like just they're not even. They think everything's fine, and I'm just like, man, y'all y'all are. Oh, I think deep down, all all of us are worried about well, the longevity of our league. Uh, yeah, they you'd should be a be. fool. You'd be a fool not. You have to be really naive not to believe that there's. But they problems. are. But there. But there are. They are. The majority of those guys are. They. They really think that this thing is going because James. Here's the deal. You know it's sinking ship. Yeah. Why are you staying? The freaking Titanic is going. The boat down. raft. The boat raft's there to go, and you're just right. Like, no, you know, I'm gonna I'm stay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out with the band here until the end. The band's playing, and we're gonna see. And, and there's a lot of guys that are like that. Well, here's, yeah. why, I, here's why I'm staying on 
the next year. I'm fishing the Bass Pro Tour next year. And you should. You should. Yeah, because it's a platform that my sponsors are paying me to fish. And you're going to make a decision once the ship and goes out. Cer- certain that I can go to my uh, my sponsors and say, hey, I know my contract says I got to fish uh, Bass Pro Tour or, or Bass Master Elites in order to get this money. What if I was to fish the MPFL or Bass Opens? Can I still get paid this oh, contract? Oh, oh. So I'm staying at the Bass Pro Tour because until it's gone, it is still, in my opinion, the NFL, the NBA, and the Major League Baseball, in my opinion, in the sport of bass fishing. Okay, then I can just go make the same living fishing BFLs and sleep on my bed. Now, I know how much did you make last year? Know, huh? How much did you make in winnings last year? I know that we don't have that in Missouri. Probably more than well, I wouldn't say how much did you win? Just don't, let's just get to the number. You gotta live in Texas, and I'm not moving to Texas. Once again, Texas is the hop skip jumping away down. I hear you like okay, but here, Jay, here, but here's the deal, and I and I get this. Let's talk Can about Patrick Mahomes. Let's talk about but Jay, let's talk about let's talk about the year that you won a Toyota series. Almost open <laughs> invitational. Invitational, open, PAA, and right, yeah. like all of that stuff. How much did you make? Uh, the best year when I won an invitational was ninety five thousand plus another thirty, so one hundred twenty thousand. But millions. once again, that was all without the Bass Pro Tour. Would that be not would that be it? And how much did you spend? On average, I think we spend about fifty thousand a year to fish those. No, I'm about, let's not talk about Bass Pro Tour. Let's talk about to fish that stuff that you fished that you won. It was less than that. A lot less. A two thousand dollar entry fee instead of a five thousand dollar entry fee. Exactly. You're driving six hours away instead of twelve hours away. Yeah, it's all well, math. If, if you put if you put your efforts into something else, so like in and when I when I left when I left FLW tour. Right, and I only did it for two years, and I did not want to leave. Like, but I, I saw the writing on the wall when all this stuff went down. Like I did. I've always said it from day one. It's why I left. I, I left being a professional, which I, you know, which I always throw that out lightly because I think it's a joke. But because I never thought anyone on the FLW <laughs> tour should be called a professional. And I always said, and, right. and it, because I don't think a professional should have to like pay. By a ranger Maybe. to be in the tour. I'm not saying there were yeah. professionals there, but you can't have you can't have a tour where people didn't qualify for. And, and James, yeah. your sponsors pay you not because you fished that I, tour. I, I hear because you. you're JMFW worldwide. Okay. So I'm get to that. And even the BPT. What's funny is I've always said this because I always like you might not like this, but no one qual- there's like seven or eight guys that have qualified for the BPT. What wait, 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 how many? Y'all didn't qualify for the BPT. Why do I need to qualify? I, 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 don't you know who he is? hundred percent. I didn't say he's my twin, twin brothers. There's, no, there's a big difference. <laughs> I got so no, 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 there's a big di- no, 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 thank you. There's a big difference between qualif you are qual you are qualified and being, angler and being and qualified. qualifying for it. Yeah. All y'all could have been qualified. You could have picked another 40 guys that could could have been qualified as well through That's oh, there's other guys that yeah, hundred percent. There are other guys that are out there. Yeah. So what? If we went down the list, we could start naming some people. 40? That, that, no, they could they, they could have they could have invited them. y'all didn't pick the best fishermen. No, no, I'm not okay. I, wait, wait, okay, let's rephrase you're, that. You're correct. As a as a as a group, there was not picked the best 100%. fishermen. But the if you look at Don't take overall, a I'm, 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 I'm not, making a fit no, to this because me. once again but I'm right. You didn't qualify for the BPT. I'm not saying you weren't qualified. No, you didn't have to go through the okay. ranks to qualify for it. I did right? not have to go through the ranks. Okay, yet. so now you have, and, and this is what I'll get, because I'm going to piggyback on what you said about Watson. Watson is one of the most unqualified. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Listen, We're trying listen. to give you props. Don't you get Don't you get it. We're giving you props. I appreciate that, but I know that's how not I'm not here. going. No, James. you are not going. No, you are one of the most. Forward thinking guys when it comes to fishing and, and you do things a certain way. And I'm not talking about the fishing part, the marketing part. Yeah. I left FLW and I left a platform in my platform multiplied by 20 leading them. Yeah. When I was on tour for two years, no one said, Hey man, saw that top 10. Hey man, saw you catch not a 
No one said a single word about any, any fish catch I ever did. Figured out another way to do it. That's all anyone talks about, right? Because I figured out my own platform. If you put all that energy and, and took it away from there with the way you do things and your marketing background, like that, like you could be like, wait a minute, let me get away from them and figure out another way. You would kill it. I'll figure out another way. I know there, not everyone can do that. I'm saying you specifically could. That that when I left that tour, it was a safety net. Mm -hmm. Those guys are scared to death because of that safety net. If you got away from that safety net and, and you had to like, okay, that's not there anymore. Now what? You would kill it. Mm -hmm. Is all I'm saying. And so, yeah, you, because you are qualified to do all that, but you have, ML, in my opinion, MLF is holding you back. You just don't realize it. You're about to, you're about to be like, oh man, I can go do all this other <laughs> stuff. <laughs> now, I'm not talking about, you know, like, you know, you I got a couple other things I can do. Lots of things. You can figure out some things within the fishing thing. I got thing 10 different things. Crazy. I got 10 different things. Like Mowing lawns right, right now. Not and not J no, I'm talking about fishing. I'm going to 150 to 200. With no. the fishing industry. Pimping does not count either way. Hey, a few, a few. For some of us, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. They don't call it worldwide for nothing, I mean. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, like, they're, like I guarantee you, because that that's why. Hey. Well, I'm going to go do it for one more year. You just said it. I'm telling you, if, they, if you just cut it off, you're like, okay, now what? You, Dude, you'll sit on the phone out here for hours and start coming up with ideas. And next thing you know, yeah, I just got, I've got a few, I've got something for this next year. I've got to play it out. I mean, charging your buddies to stay at your house during a tournament does not count as income, James. No, it doesn't. Gonna, because, it's it enough, <laughs> because it's not enough. Because it's not enough. Thank goodness. And these so, are only a dollar ninety nine. But you haven't received wow. your invoice. <laughs> my invoice, yeah. yeah. Can can my, how about that? Let's get to the band. These... Let's get to the wow. band. Yes. I, you know, this is at the end of the day. I, it's such a long people, ways away. What people fail to realize oh, is that uh -huh. there is no uh -huh. there sport without uh -huh. the fans, and yeah. so we know we see a lot of questions. What we, let's get let's get to some of them. I'm oh curious. my! Well, the problem is Comments. so. Zal Dangerous is on here. Is Zal Dangerous on Did here? You, well, I don't know. So I haven't been. Is there that, is, right is there. that, is that really? I don't know. It, it could be. I don't know. Well, so there's a bunch of stuff, and I haven't, and we haven't been keeping track. So I, they they got their whole. Let's just grab. There's a good. I, well, I have to start with up here. They got their own there's conversation Mitch going Mitch on. Mitch. <laughs> there's Mitch. Mitch fishes the tour. Huh? Mitch Crane, he's he's a major league right there. See that like that? Yeah. What did he say? Oh, they're, say? they're responding to each other. Oh, I, oh. Todd hit a nerve with this. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I hit a nerve with this. I just started over. Yeah. So I don't know. Like they they got their own conversation going on. I think we've missed like on your platform. Well, yeah. <laughs> so they started their own. Well, they, first some, off, there's 617,000 people watching. Yeah, 617,000. All right. They, they got something about. Hey, go to my Instagram, the that, real James that, Watson. This goes to. Go, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Ishmael Rowe for, Ish Professional Angler. Yes. <laughs> Facebook, Facebook James, James Watson <laughs> Professional Angler. For, for a year. year. For, for a year. Yeah. For a year. For a year. Then subscribe. I have to subscribe. Change yeah. Then you have to change my. To reason, because I always yeah. remember I'd play up like, man, regional. Reason why Todd. Reason why Todd. I used to say that because I was like, he's a robot. I'm like, I guess I'm region wide. So. You get the leverage you so use. they did something about Millican. I don't know. Is it, hey, look, someone likes you. Who yeah. likes me? Someone likes me or likes what me? is that boy's problem? Oh my gosh, I don't even that shouldn't have clicked on that one. No. Uh, hey, where's the one that somebody likes me? Let's go back to that one. Uh, I don't know. I think no. he, I think it was a, a fake profile. It was a <laughs> fake profile. Voluptuous, like. You gotta start reading some of these. You just kind of scroll through. No, I'm like, I, well, what about the fans? We gotta take well, care of everybody. Do, Every do, fan counts. I can't do like. See, look. Okay, this guy, my guy, ish. See, look at that. Right. Do you want me to just pick yeah, up all the ones like, that like? Yeah, you? exactly. I like those. I That'd like this. Well, one. So, how many events million get? Like, see, they they, how they many, came wait, up with the amount of forty thousand. Ask these questions. So people, can, okay, here's one. Who came up with the amount of forty thousand for an entry fee? It's uh five thousand dollars times seven tournaments. That's thirty-five thousand games if you do your math. 
but it's not forty thousand this year. It's forty five thousand. Forty five thousand okay. times seven entry fees. So let's do the math. There you go. Forty five thousand. I'm yeah. sorry. To forty thousand, fifty thousand, hundred and twenty thousand. Do they at keep this, on I mean, at this point? What you know? It, it, this to at this <laughs> level to pay at this level. There is an endless supply of crackheads like me <laughs> that are willing to buy the crack at five thousand dollars a pop. The NPFL. I don't mean this disrespectfully on our business people. So the NPFL thousand divided by seven events is six hey, look, thousand look, we love you, Ish. Twenty-eight dollars and fifty-seven cents. So well, I basically, say, we're going to say, say sixty-five hundred dollars in entry fees per event. To pay back ten thousand dollars, I'm going mm. to tell you right now. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know what I'm paying. Crack. Okay, it's crack. Whether it's five thousand <laughs> or sixty five hundred, crack. James Watson is disclosing. I don't know, and you can make fun Here's of me president. if you don't. Yeah, if you can like make that. fun See, of me, these, you can call no, me a bad uh, businessman. We're, we're talking not about you. Though. I'm Just talking about the fans. We're, we're going to say that's ridiculous. How do you not know what you're paying? <laughs> The fact of the matter is, I don't give a shit. I bought a Yamaha because of Ish. Be I love that. Boom. Hey, I, I'm, Paul. I hope I, you heard you heard heard that. So uh, they bought a Yamaha because of me. I, it means I can sell you one hundred million dollars in black rifle coffee. Yeah. You're right. Only, oh, only, 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 <laughs> only one ninety nine at Watson's house. Yeah. 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 yeah, with three hundred dollars a night for yeah. room and board. <laughs> Dude, this is the most expensive term I've ever had to say. And you right, my buddies, right. I get to like, hey, and then me and you were like, how much are you getting paid for? And it's weird how you charge certain people more, more than others. Right. I'm not, I'm just going to say that. Because he knows how much money you want this year. There's some old. Yeah, boy. I am financially. <laughs> yeah, you're financially profiling. Yeah, you're financially profiling. Yeah, you're you're financially financially profiling. Us. Okay. That is sore. <laughs> you guys have stayed here before I kicked in the $100 per person rule. Yeah. <laughs> so here's. You're, who, who brought in the paper towels and the and toilet paper? Yeah, you're on old rule. Yeah, I bought you breakfast. Yeah, no, you did not. Somebody, no, somebody. Off of, <laughs> it's not. Hey, hey, I. When they asked, off hold on, hold on. Rephrase that. This when, morning, when she asked this morning, who offered, what I've offered put your ticket offering, on mine. That's right, it's not my. my it's not my fault that I actually did a good favor for a guy and he paid for everybody. So yeah. once again, everybody owes you because of me. There you go. Like, guys, Ooh, like you. some other fishermen walked in and did buy our breakfast. Because sauce. that's what, because because of what because Ish, you take Ish care of people. Yeah. Because you're, that's Ish what you're pulled, supposed to do. Yeah. Ish pulled this old boy. Roy, Roy <laughs> Hoff walked in with a group of uh, scraggly looking fishermen. <laughs> no, fisher, good, looking yeah. good looking fellas. Coming in. Roy Hoff brought them in. Uh, Come by and everybody said hi to everybody. Roy was the only one I knew personally, right. but I could tell all his fishing guys were here for toilet. And one of them happened to get unstranded by you on a good deed one day. I, back, you know me. Back I say that is Justin. Yeah. Justin Lucas yeah, yeah. owes yeah. me a basket so of because that. he so. But this guy, uh, you know, he he come over there and Who's or he didn't come over there. Go back. He back. bought all of the whole table's yeah, breakfast, is. just not yeah, that's all, all of my ours. Buddy, my Zach, what up? And I'm here to tell you, you guys know Paul sitting out there with black rock coffee. He can eat, so his bill alone is like two thousand dollars. <laughs> so, no, six hundred thirty-nine thousand people watching us right now. Follow Ish's pages. Follow my pages. Yep. And Fat it's, Tad's pages. Fat well, Tad. they're already here. Yeah, they're already here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, six hundred thousand followers. Let's go back I to could, this whole. I nation. could. Wow. I'm not even sure. <laughs> okay. Here's how I look at bass fishing, guys. In, in the business, my business is bass. Oh, I can't keep it, dude. It's. I it's have, we gotta, we gotta answer it. something. We gotta he's ask something. Well, he's about something. to. He's, he's, about, to he's something. about to say something. Okay, I I look at, at this. At what I do as a business. Okay, what do I pay for my boat? What do I pay for my motor? What do I get for free? What do I uh, get paid by sponsors? How much is it? How much does it cost me to fish the Bass Pro Tour? X amount of dollars. How much does it cost me to fish the BFLs? X amount of dollars. So if if my main draw is major league fishing, my main platform is major league fishing, and my expense out is let's say two fish the whole circuit, room and board, entry fees and everything, I'm going to spend about sixty thousand dollars. Okay, so that's my <clears throat> I, we'll we'll put it in layman's terms. That is my cost to operate. That is what I'm going to spend on rent to be inside that building. 
Okay. So I try to market with the sponsors that I can and try to surpass $60,000 as much as I possibly can because after $60,000 is profit. You forgot about your best friend, though. Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. But, you forgot about your best friend, Uncle Sam. Well, he got to get his cut. He will get his cut always. But the, I'm just saying, when I started fishing, I thought, man, I'll, I'll consider this a success when I can go out here and actually do all this for free. So when I do win $10 in winnings, I got it in my pocket. So, so okay, <clears throat> this is just a different way of looking at it. If you're doing all that and you're, and you're trying to sell said exposure on TV, right? TV, social media. Social, whoa, 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 whoa. No, you don't need MLF for social media. I, I you don't need you. MLF for YouTube. Look, this changeover, what you're about to say, has it, it's just it's been slowly working its way into the business. I, I know, but, it, it, but it's here now. It is okay. Then I quit. There's no freaking need for me to go fish the Bass Pro Tour. No, 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 no. The contracts I said signed should just just say BFLs, and they're going to pay me X amount of dollars to fish whatever the hell I want. That's not true. No, that's no, no, no. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is is you have done the crazy part about it is I'm giving you the biggest compliment about what you're I doing. know what you're doing, but I got to work. I got to not only worry about my so long range so, plan okay. right here in front of me. I am no, no, I'm fine. So I'm fine now. No, no, I'm so not, not is, controversial question, just regular question. So you're telling me that every single one of your contracts, not every from, single one, well, but the majority of your sponsor contracts state that you have to fish. What Bass Pro Tour, Bass Master Elites? Okay, just ask me. Yeah. What? Okay, do yeah. you think that's wrong within the industry? No. Do I think that I'm I'm a decent enough promoter and salesperson that I can uh, turn it around? Yes. But I, here's what here's what people don't. If, if you win a Toyota or a BPT, how many BPTs have you won? Like like no. if, if, if the biggest term I ever won was an invitational. Okay, so my point is, is if huh? Bass Invitational, no, uh, FLW Invitational, our current format of the Invitationals now, they had two special Invitationals years ago. Uh, Bass Pro Tour did, or FLW, FL, FLW had yes. two special Invitationals. Yes. Okay. Which but is now the format they're running. No, but now. they called. Did they call them Invitationals? Yes, then, they or did. they called something? Okay, I don't. Let, let, yes, let, they did. Let me. Let me. Ryan Thrift won on Norman, and I won on. Uh, Norris Lake in Tennessee. Norris. North of Knoxville. Oh, that's right. I remember that. And let, the red one on Norman. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> let, let me let, let me ask both of y'all this. Okay. okay. I, and I've always said this. If and I'm gonna be real honest about this. And I'm gonna pick I don't I don't really know how the BPT does airtime, but I know right. how the elites do. <clears throat> if you fish the elites for nine years, I mean I'm sorry, nine tournaments, okay, okay in a year. You finish 50th place in every single event. Okay. How much airtime do you get? Zero. So my question is for the because you said fish one of these two two things. And I'm mm -hmm. I, I'm asking him because I, I kind of knew the answer to that. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Set up. He's setting us up. Well, no, because because I have a comment about okay. the, the MLF okay. thing and about airtime when, okay. when it, someone I'm not gonna get into that story, but like really mm -hmm. pissed me off about the airtime when they said all this. There's no airtime there, right? Correct. So, so you're paying. So, I don't understand the allure of the guy with. And if you finish in the top, it's the, poten it's the potential of the airtime. Oh, it's the potential I get of the so, potential. So, but right. how many guys never do that? And even if they did, they got on camera. They got. On, they did good for one tournament. What, and they got a little camera time all year long. But it's not about. But it's not about that. It's about the one. Time if it's, it's not. Good. If it's not. If it's not about, it's not about what? It's oh, it's about the one time that they do get on camera and their friends and their family and everybody sees it and people talk about it and they come up to you. And that's what it is for most So guys. if you do, okay. It's not that for me. It's But if, it's, you, if you learn how to get, whether it be TV, like, I don't even understand how I've got, but I've gotten to do Pro Team Journals. I've done the Zona Show, Let's Fish TV. Right. I've done Fit. But like you've what, only caught a hundred million bass. Yeah, I know, but but I'm regional and I'm just telling Watson okay. that like if you just 
figure out and you take that away and you realize how to go somewhere within the sport. I'm just telling you it's there. And you, I don't have to like, don't get me wrong. I would love to go fish the elites in the tour at times. And then at times. others at, at times, but, but that's then, not a luxury. But, but here's the deal. Here's the deal, Todd. This at is times, you do, but so it's not, what it, so it's not feasible because it's not no, something you no, can just say, so, Todd, I want to do it. Right. Here's what it is. And, and this is, it's, that is the easiest platform. It was. No, it is the easiest. Well, no, today, wait, hold on. Refer, yes. It's the easiest platform to achieve. Is it shrinking? Yes. Thank you. Okay. But it is the easiest platform to achieve because here's the deal. You can go pay your $45,000 up front and have nine opportunities to be Correct. on television one time. And that one time that you are on television, it's how many X amount of views, whatever it may be. But it's a lot larger and a lot easier to people feel that it's a lot easier. Than 653,000 people? You built yes. that, but, right? But you built that, right? But you built that, yeah. And mm -hmm. it's to them to build. Todd, I'm going to get six hundred fifty-three thousand people. You had to build that. I understand. And you had to have good freaking, you know, he, people he's, like James he's and myself. A oh, I know he has. I do. Me and you are on the same page about James. And James, really? I'm on the same page right. about, but he's and, not. But he's not. But me and you are on the same page because I understand. I have more confidence in James than he actually has in himself. Yes. Because I feel like if he left Bass Pro Tour, nothing would change from his sponsor Stop because it. he's James. Stop he it. does. We're trying to get him to believe that I, because I, it's not that I don't believe you guys. No, look, look. I grew up through the uh, the FLW days ish. <clears throat> How many times as an FLW angler would I hear, man, he fished the Bassmaster leads? What the sponsors will come. No, they'll pay you more money. They'll pay you more money. But I mean, that's what right, but that is but what I'm saying is if I'm not talking about my current slate of sponsors, if you if you give them an opportunity like COVID gives some of our sponsors the uncertainty of where you're at, it took so what you're saying is, is that you staying on the Bass Pro Tour gives you certainty with your sponsors. That's what I'm asking. I'm not, I'm asking, I'm not trying to get okay. you. Yes. Well, yes. So can, yes. I, can I read? So, yeah. so this guy, right. so Money Bass, do you fish for money, awards, or marketing for sponsors? Choose one. Can you accomplish that without the major circuits and still fish? There's Which honestly, is cool. That's what we're talking there, about. There's yeah. literally 10 guys in the country that make a living from make winning. A living from winning. Yeah. And they're all regional guys except for two. Kevin Van Dam, Jacob Wheeler. Those are the only two through a non thrift. 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 Okay. Thrift. Made yeah. 435000 in winnings. So I made, other, I made it in one year. I made 400000 Am I in the other? Like, my living is not like y'all's, but my, like, I. My, but you know, you make a living. That's right. But you're, you're, you're a regional. Okay. You're a yeah. regional making guy. When you, to me, making a living is six figures, which is paying most people's bills. Yeah. Like, without, we talk about six figures after expenses. Yeah. And there's literally only 10 guys that I would say in the country. We're talking about the Texas guys who catch them, the West Coast guys, which there are very few of those guys anymore because we don't have as many tournaments we used to have. There's probably Alabama, one, two guys in Alabama. Florida, and, no. and, well, it's where the trails are yeah, that allow them to fish now. And, and so Texas and Alabama – are you have to have opens and Toyotas come, VFLs right. come, then you have to have major teams. So you have to have a lot there. Right. Because there's only a handful of those guys who can win constantly. And this is the you have to finish up bunch of tournaments. You have to A, cash a check in every single tournament you fish and win a big one to make a living at it. And there's only a small handful of guys who can oh, do that. Okay. Let me throw this at you. Okay. Well, well said. 11th place. And all seven Bass Pro Tour events pays me what? Eleven thousand dollars, huh? Eleven thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. Okay, per no. tournament. Okay, seven times is what? Seventy thousand dollars minus? No, no, it's just you no. have to no, minus. No, no. We talk no, about you and I do. Let's just go to the general public on this. Okay, okay. Joe Blow wants to come up through the ranks and sees this awesome, uh, right? Awesome fishing ability. Uh, I see what you're saying. Fishing yes. the deal. He finishes 11th place in his every first year tournament. every freaking tournament, and he's made $70,000 in winnings, and he spent sixty. How much does he take home? 7000 
Yeah. 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 Absolutely. But (laughs) would would you and I, 7-Eleven place finish is probably close to getting an angler gear, if not one angler. So would you not count that as a stellar gear that you would take every year, year after year after year, and you've only profited $10,000? So so I did this every year. So so when I was on... before I finished the tour, and everyone's like, and I kept qualifying. They're like, yeah. why, why don't you, you know, Bill Terror, are you going to qualify this? You know, Todd, are you going to pay your money? And I look at Bill, I'm like, if you're going to pay me, I'll come. But I'm not paying. So every year, I just go home. Then I can do it right now. You go, you go right here, you click on MLF, and you freaking go, Angler of the Year. And it pulls up their stats, and I can do it every single time. And I'm like, top 10 Angler of the Year. Now, there's probably usually only two guys out of that top 10 that have won an event. I don't consider the guys who won a tour event in that in that money. Right. Because it, it, if you're counting on winning a tour event every year. You're not, there's nobody that does it except for two guys. Yes. Okay. So if you're not those two guys, I looked at it from a reasonable point of view. I'm just going to look at those, like those guys. I take the guys who won an event and I, and I discarded them. Right. There's like, what, a, there was seven at the time. Seven in the basketball tour and nine in the. Okay. Here we go. No, no, no. no. No, you're not the brass pro tour. Okay, I'm saying that's all. I, that's all my only gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's diff- that's way different now because of the qualification. At the time, it was the tour of the elite. So I was looking at the tour because I qualified for the right, tour. Right, just right. just the tour at the time. And I would look on that, and I would go. I would see like sixth place, seventy two thousand dollars. And I'm like, that dude killed it this year. Right. That dude beat hundred and sixty <laughs> guys. He made sitting like seventy two thousand is not bad. Minus the forty. Yep. Minus the expenses. Minus the expenses. And I'm sitting and, here going, and don't forget, you still got taxes on the actual profit at the end of the day. Right. So I'm sitting there. Well, no, because he can, I doubt that, because you, you can write most. No, of you write, you better take all yeah, your expenses, yeah. but you still, whatever's profit, Uncle Stan still gets you. Yeah, but you're going to write off right your boat and gas mileage and all. Like you can write off some other. Anyways, what, what I'm, I'm not going to get into that part. 20, just keep it simple. Twenty that. So you won, you won $20,000. You traveled like the amount of stuff you spent on time away from just home, time, time away from, from family, home, missing soccer your, games, missing softball, all games, this stuff. And I was going, stuff that's important for you. And, and you killed it. And you killed and you, it. And I was sitting here going, man, last this last month, like you I, dream wrecker, you. I had some months. <laughs> I, well, no, I had some dream months wrecker. where I was like, you kind of get on a roll back home, right? I mean, you've had those where like things set up. You're like, well, I made like 25 grand last month or. There was a month this year where it, I fished. There. I fished Darnell and came in second, and then uh, I think me and Russell came in second in a, at a Texas team trail, and then I went and fished the Bassmaster Open, came in eighth. Dude, it was at like home. 25, 28,000 mm-hmm. in in a short amount of time. Last year at this event alone, it was a free championship for Toyotas. Anyone can yeah. get it, and I won twenty six thousand after or. That's the circuit to be fishing. Right. And I've always said that. But my point is, is you know, it's like James, but the toilet, James doesn't the toilet, have but that. That guy fished all year, the toilet made the a top thing. 10 angler right. of the year, 120. And I'm like, man. But, it, but there's another side and of I that. And I spent, time. like, I spent very little. I, but that. there's another side of that. And one is James's I'm point. I'm more remarkable is, as a Bass Pro Tour angler than I am a BP, than I am a, a toilet angler. Right. Because I have more to give. I have more opportunities. Right. And that's where the, the sixth place to guy give. does. If he capitalizes on that sixth place, he's obviously had some good enough finishes, possibly a top 10 to getting some television time. And if he used everything at his platform correctly, I, he becomes a well-known angler. The and, potential okay. is higher. Right. I will and walk, that's that's, that's y'all why are, I'm fishing the best. Y'all are right. always not higher. fishing what I want right. to fish. Right. I'd rather fish all the Toyotas. Yeah, yeah, because like no offense, like, like more fun. Like like I, and that's the difference. And that's the difference of a guy like me and Bobby Lane, where we can go and reset because we've built that career. We've had the television time. We have the credibility. Yeah, we yeah. have the credentials. And so I get where James is at. Is James feels like this is his opportunity. If he goes out and he kills the ceiling is way higher. I get that. Right. Yeah. And and so for him taking that same platform and using it to his advantage, he can make more because of who he is and the fact that if he goes out and has a good year, even though he still won't make the top 50, 
he still will use that platform to, oh, okay, I can roll this into my next yes, venture. Yeah. And, I, and but, we understand but, and get that. I, yes. I, and, when I'm, and what I'll say is, is in, in about the last three years, that highest level of fishing is, is dropping yes, down. Yeah, it, it actually and I don't see it going back up in, in less. In, in, in the, it, only, the only way it goes back up, and I don't even know if it'll go back up, it'll maintain what I think will happen is if, if everything folds, but there's one more, there's one league with 50 guys. And then I think it, those no, 50 are huge. Because here's the deal. The, the one thing is I'm saying the Bassmaster the Classic is still the Bassmaster Classic. That's what I'm saying. Classic, I'm saying right? say, say it went back. Yeah. Say, Bass, say the elites just dropped to 50 guys. And you're one of those 50 guys. It still doesn't matter because the Bassmaster Classic is still going to be above that. And you still have to have the yeah, opportunity. Yeah, but you're going to the Classic. Yeah, but the what the still what I'm saying is those 50 guys from the elites going to the classic, there's still once again that opportunity for that one guy, that one kid who's fishing federation, who's fishing no, no, no. who doesn't have a lot yeah, of that to make the, it to the classic and win. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact of what I'm saying. What I'm right. saying is that the the with NBFL, Brass Pro Tour, all this stuff, it's, it's convoluted. It's convoluted it, now. And yes. when you've got there's guys going out there now with platforms like anything you want to do. They're figuring out other ways to get within the industry. Yes. And when you start taking that footage and like, they don't have, I'll put it this way. If I wanted to go show I'm on Table Rock tomorrow, right? I might go win the Toyota, right? right? You've done enough in your lifetime. You've done enough in your lifetime. If you went out there and said, hey, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to show you everything I do and break down Table Rock. And I'm going to go show you actually how to do it. You don't have to wait for MLF or Bass right. or anybody to do it. You can literally go in and put that out there mm -hmm. right now on your own at any time you want to. That was not available 10 years ago. True. All I'm saying is, is with it being it's now, funny, it's how funny, good it's funny you, you say that because I've always looked at it as what you're talking about the 10 years ago. There's no way to do it 10 years ago. Technically, they lost that. The pros pointer was the best part, most informational side to professional bass fishing in general because that pros pointer that bass have would show the guy the bait how he caught them and that was hugely important sorry you gotta go poop you gotta go poop yeah you gotta poop yeah you gotta poop get him biscuit get him biscuit and, and so the information is the biggest deal biscuit knock it off yeah, people are just, oh boy. Yeah, they're loving it. Oh boy. It's Anyways. not the same without that. It's hurry up, Tad. Tad. Biscuit, go get the tack biscuit attack. Biscuit. Hey. Knock it off. Hey. Biscuit, get up here. So actually, we can squeeze in and we can answer some I questions. Can't, I can't read that. I, it's, we should have someone here reading it. Let's see. Do you fish? Oh, we already did that one. Jeff you, Jeff Creek did do it right. Okay. Do you, wait, Jeff Creek <laughs> did it right. Yeah. He's on, on the beach with a naked chaser. Yeah. On his boat. Yeah, yeah. on his boat, yes. Yeah. So uh why isn't global warming people pissed at Skeet Reese with his two miles per gallon? <laughs> oh. well, hey, it gets we're, more actually we're all guilty of that actually driving gets, bigger trucks yes. than we really need, but I can tell you, if I put as many miles on, or if you guys put as many miles on as we did, you'd want to be in the biggest truck that you got for that one time that you might fall asleep driving. Does James think it is possible? Wait, how do you stop this thing? I like I like my big truck because if I have an accident, okay. I like my. Does James think it's possible for a guy to fish regionally in our area, Grand Table Rock? Maybe Grand because uh, Nichols Nichols tournaments they give. Anywhere that gives away a fully rigged boat or twenty five thousand dollars per, but tournament. it has to have Toyotas and oh, they have to have those other BFLs. You have to have those things. Come. Well, you just have to have those events too. I, I've done it. You have to have. You can't do it based on team trails. It's you can't do it. Okay, you have to have other trails. Okay, along mixed in. Yeah, because like, well, we like, don't have the opportunities that you got in Texas. I, I agree, but like you, like a Toyota. You have to have, to, like, I travel. Like, I don't. You drip them in. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I went to Lake of the Ozarks Star now. Yeah, I went exactly. to Oklahoma. I, I go, I, I travel exactly. around. But, you know, can you make a living? Is he asking if you can make a living doing yes. that? Yes. 
very very central pro am central pro am the one it was how central pro ams back in the day in the in the 90s it was, was paying twelve thousand okay. first place twelve thousand anglers in action 10k for first place nickels those on are, grand those are all one. great but how many of them how many of them are you going to win See, in a year you it's not winning it. it's not what ish said it perfectly now he said you have to make checks what i learned so when i started doing all this when I first started, all I did was to get checks. And then I went a couple of years where I'm like, this isn't working. So I had to figure out how to win. Mm -hmm. And then I and then I started winning tournaments, but I didn't get very many checks. Yep. And then slowly and surely I started figuring out how to like win and get checks, which took a long time. Because what what happened was is you look up and those wins just pay. All they do is like for your year. For for the yeah, like so you're all you're doing is like you win they one for free. But then two months later. You're just spending that money constantly. Yeah. Well, if you get checks throughout the year, you might make 100, 200 here, 500 here. But then when you win one, it's all profit. Yeah. That's the main it. thing. So, and you don't have to win. Like that, everyone. So, a lot of people ask what we're doing. Like, what are we doing this year? Like, what, like, who's, what is everyone fishing? And everyone keeps on asking about the NPFL. I'm not dogging the NPFL, right? What I'd say, what I'd say is this. The NPFL have you, have you does looked not. At the NPFL? No, no, no. Money standpoint. Money. Have you looked at the NPL? Right, but the money. The, the, it's not about the money standpoint. No, I'm, again, but I'm back talking, to what I talk about. No, no, but I'm talking fans. about it. I'm talking. No, I, I'm going to agree with you on this. Yeah. Uh, the money part of it. The, the NPFL, because I was someone had made a comment on on this thing. Goes, hey, they pay pretty good down the top to the twentieth, no. and I was like, okay, let me look at this thing, and I saw second place. $15,000. Now, I finished second place at Darnell and won $15,000. In a Toyota. In a Toyota. My entry fee was $1,800. Right. Their entry fee is 52 or 58 or whatever whatever 57. it is. Yeah. And I was going, well, you can't make a living off money like that because that Toyota for a second place pays three years of my Toyotas. A second place in the NPFL pays half your season. And so you can't, I, I'm not dogging them. And, and they put that hundred thousand. I thought the worst move they could do is put that hundred thousand dollars for the win. And not breaking it down the line. Everyone for, said it's not a professional trail if you don't give away a hundred grand. But I'm like, man, how, if you want to look at the angle of the year maybe, over there. Maybe Michael Cross on your question. Maybe. You know, maybe. Well, you got to read the question so everybody understands. Oh, okay. Sorry. Michael Cross is, sorry. If you spend forty five thousand in tournaments, is it possible to invest forty five thousand into your brand and social media and turn the same probability and, and be an independent of fishing a trail? Yes and no. Yes and no. This, this, is, this is the worst comment right here ever. Patrick Not Walters, yours, Michael. Pat, no, yeah, Patrick Walters, two hundred thousand winnings this year. Correct. There's nothing wrong with Pat. One guy. One guy. He had, so now he he, he, he made let. It, it, what about it gave the rest people, of the other hundred and whatever that it took it. away a hundred grand from someone else, and that could happen. I'm not. Everyone's always like fixated on one guy. There's freaking all those people in there. This is what we're. This and is what can, James is trying to get to. Is we went from eighty guys to fifty guys. That means thirty guys are losing their careers, and actually, technically, it's yes. more than that because 35. there's five right rookie guys who are from coming the, in up from because the all they did is they qualified. From the invitationals. the invitationals to automatically go into this fifty-man field. Yep. So once again, it's I have I've had Matt on, dude. Matt's getting screwed in all this. Yeah. Matt Stephan. No, oh, yeah. Well, he's in this year. He's in this year, but I mean, he's got one year to like catch him again. He's got to catch him. Like yeah. if he has a bottom fifty finish, he don't make it back again dude, after it's two not, years. I'm not, it's 50's bad for everybody yep. in the sport all the way down to the BFLs yep. and, and everything on the Bassmaster. It's bad because you take the 104 Bassmaster League guys on the Bassmaster League. Is it 104 this 100, year? Yeah, 104, 103, 104. Something okay. Like you take 100. 100, yeah. And then you got 80 on the Bass Pro Tour. So technically, in my opinion, that's 180 guys. I'm technically true slots. top level professional slots. slots, right? Slots available. And, and that's that's hey, what percentage is that out of all the fishermen that are out there that fish tournaments? Not very less good. than one percent. Not that's very good. less than one percent. And, and there probably isn't a single guy on here that wouldn't like to be in our shoes. Uh, fishing on one of those two tours. Oh, not well, a single I guy. My shoes, but your shoes. Not a single guy. 
I don't you know, want to be in your shoes. You don't have to be. I don't want to but be there's not. Shoes. Okay. Now what are because, we talking no. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we can have serious conversations. Uh, we're having fun. Have we a lot of each other. We have a lot of fun in between. But we got to have fun. Yeah, absolutely. Have fun fun. I have fun everywhere. I got me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's always there's, there's a always a handful of people out there that that you know. Yeah. You, 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 there's 180 slots today, and a year from now there's going to be 150, 150 slots. slots. And, and if, if if you think it's hard getting to 180, it's going to be even harder to get to 100. But you're taking. Let's just do the simple. But you're now. taking. But you're those 30 slots. You're losing some guys who just because they had a bad year or two, mm -hmm. their career is over. We're talking yeah. about a guy. I, and do I, mean, not, I look at I've seen the list. There's a guy, there's a couple guys on that list when, that have multiple millions of dollars in winnings mm -hmm. that will not be at the top level the following year. Tommy Biffles had three bad years and he got I'm not talking he I got know. I know you're not talking about Tommy, but I'm being I'm adding yeah, to your thing. Tommy Biff, a Hall of Fame angler, yep. three bad years now that he's had on the Bass Pro Tour, lost his slot. So did but, Boyd. So did a, a few other hammer fishermen of, of the day. Got peered, not peered out, but due to requalification, lost their positions on tour respectfully. Can, can I ask it? Can I ask? Uh, I'll get Chris Y'all don't like, y'all might not like this, but I, I, have, I, I have to ask that. this. So in any other sport, no one feels bad. I'm just like, hear me out. No one feels bad for the guy, right? The the football player that's in there. I I, I don't want to bring up because I get it. That they get three years in the NFL and they're freaking. They've secured themselves a pretty financial. nice financial yeah. if they done it right. If they did it right, yes. Okay, say they did it right. Three years and you're gone. Okay, and you got and you're gone because of talent. No one in the NFL gets one year of being bad and they're like, yeah, you know what? You had a bad year. We're going to bring him back. You definitely don't get three years. My question to you is this, there's these legend statuses and, and, and hall of fame guy, like Brett Favre's a hall of fame quarterback. He ain't in the league anymore. Cause he can't do what he used to do. My question is, and I know, like, I don't know. I've never heard this been brought up by anyone, but when, when just because of what you did 20 years ago, where does that stack up and how long should you be relevant or how long should you be on but, this trail? I'm not, I, I know this is a, a right. touchy subject, but the only reason I bring this up is I, my probably biggest chip on my shoulder is when I fish like this year, like there's a lot of young guys around Rayburn, right. And around Texas and stuff. And dude, I like behind closed doors, me and Russell are sitting there. And I guess this isn't closed doors anymore. We're sitting there like, Hey, hey guys, we ain't, we always like, me and Russ are like, we ain't retired yet. Right. Like, we won some Angler of the Years this year. Like, the tour, like, I, I'm like, man, I can't rely on an Angler of the Year I won four years ago. And so, like, that drives me one for the money and for all, but I'm like, I, I there's no way I want to give up my reign for any of this from these young guys. That's me personally. Right. So, Can like, I, I have to like look at that and I held my head high on that. At some point in time, I know I won't be able to do that. So how long should I can, be allowed? Can I have a rebuttal to that? So not a rebuttal. I'm asking okay. a question. How right. long? So, so here's my here's my here's my deal. So in 2018, we were asked to separate from everything that we know with the hopes and promises of a better future for all. We understand that there were a couple of guys because you have to have those guys. You have to have those young guys who come in. You have to have the JT Tompkins, the Trey McKinney's, you know, the Ben Milligan's, all those guys that come in because you always have to have new blood, just like the NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball. Yeah. But it's a small portion that was initially coming in. And every year they've changed that to make adjustments. But now all of a sudden, you're coming in cutting more than a third of your guys. And yes, there Look, are this some... wasn't a performance-based cut. I don't consider this the same. This was this, this was not a performance-based cut. This was a cut issued by MLF 
for a money reason had nothing to do with but performance. It is, but it's still it's the only way they could cut it. But it is still performance based because but it was performance based. But they didn't come through there going, "Hey, we're going to cut these guys because of their performance." It's like we got to cut some guys because we're losing money. How do we? How do we do this? Well, let's, the easiest way is to do it on performance. So, so I understand what you're saying, but I don't I'm, agree with the fact is is. The amount of guys, if you're cutting, they just cut. They just picked a number. Like they, they, they picked, yeah. right, they threw a number yeah, yeah. out there. Instead they, of this, wasn't some. I'm not saying it wasn't ah, some preconceived ah, notion five ah, years ago that they might come to this conclusion. But we, but five it, years ago, we had biscuit. we had I mean, no, 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 forty eight. But right. five years ago, we had the forty eight. Right. And yet, right. you could have tripled in because we had a feeder system, which were the selects to getting to the cuts, which was great. Right. The 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 deal now is go ahead. I thought it was growling. He's not gonna growl at me. We're buzz buzz. Is, is that is that her growling? No. Oh. It's the, it's it's a truck. truck outside. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to see who it is? Sounds like a tractor. So now what I don't agree with is the way that they're doing what they're doing to 30 guy, 35 guys to be exact is I get bringing in new blood. I'm all about new blood because once again, these young guys have shown us something with technology, with live scope, with everything else and new techniques. You know, you look at when we implemented Western guys into the top 150s at the time, we started bringing in drop shotting and, and more finesse fishing and things like that into to teach more people how to fish. Now they're just basically cutting. So what I don't agree with is the amount that they're cutting. I agree with Happy, well, and I get your legends thing because no, no, no guys I, have to pay out. I, I was asking because we fishing seems to keep those guys a long time, and I was just going, I don't care. Like, dude, when I, I can ask these questions because I'm not part of this, I'm right. asking, like, when is too long too long? Because no, no other sport life. does that. There's a show, but those yeah. guys, but there's a, but there's the shelf life actually, those guys fade out. No, I know the marketability right. that's that's different and, than the actual. The performance base. I'm, I'm and, calling it performance base. And I'm trying to understand where they're trying to go with this 50 man I field, too. but at the same time, there's a better way to do it than cutting 30 well, guys out. So, and so there's, two, there's another side to this is the reasoning why the league tells us they're going to a 50 man field is insulting my intelligence. Uh, that's, that's different. The part. That's a different story. That's, that's right. a part. Right. That's the yes. part that pisses me off the most. Don't t don't sit here and tell me that by shrinking this field, it'll be easier because our seven cameras won't have to track so many boats on the water. And I'm like, no. The cut is 18 to 22 on the on the cut line. It doesn't matter if we have four. Thousand more it boats is, down here. And don't, don't we are not following these four thousand. Right. We're the following same three these. Is going to yeah. rise to they the don't know. They don't know any of this stuff. But that's how I know. But, but that's they, how we got they, insulted on. This is right. why we are doing. It. But then double down on the fact yeah. that that the Invitationals, yeah, that have which was the tour guys, never made money never. until this year. This year, all of a sudden, year. first year ever, we've been profitable on the Invitationals. You know why? Because they cut wait, their payback wait, wait, down. Wait, 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 wait. And, oh, wait, you talk, oh, you're talking about the league. I thought you were talking about the English making money. No. I'm like, no, <laughs> they, they, no, the invitationals now that has been entry fees lower their payouts. It has never, has never made money. And all of a sudden this year, it's like, oh, but they're making money this year. Yeah. And y'all are. So we're going to cut y'all, yeah. not the invitations. Yeah. Like, you can't sit there and go, really, for 15 years, it has lost money. And now all of a sudden, the one year you want to do this, oh, but we're not cutting the well, invitations. That's what, that's what I was told. Well, you know, if, but you're, they, if you're a business but person, you got to keep what you, makes you money. But here's again, what once again, yeah, this all this. boils back to, once again, the fans. They lost their money because they lost the fans by doing all these didn't freaking do that. changes. Y'all didn't do that. You no, we did not, no, we did not do that as anglers. We are still bringing our fans, but they lost the fans because, once again, you change every freaking year something instead of leaving it to give people an opportunity. Read that. Read that. Well, click and tell no. everybody because you uh -uh. can't say that and uh -uh. not tell everybody what it is because they want to know too. Issue the king of the Delta. I love that, that. Yeah. Oh, that's not the one. Yeah, that's. No, you're no, read it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Read Josh, it. Hey. Yeah. Read right. it. 
Josh, I know. Josh, read it. You got to read it. Not true. Not true. They told us it's been profitable since they bought it. That's true. Yeah. I asked in our meeting the other night, though, Josh, hey, Josh I yeah. asked in their meeting the other night, I said, why do you keep the invitationals? Because they're profitable. And I said, how long have they been profitable? And the guy, not Boyd, but another guy said they were profitable last year. That's what he said. If, if, if Josh, if you're profitable, why do you change? Plain and simple. It's always about the money at the end of the day. If you're right. profitable, why do you change? I can't, I can't blame the league for you wanting to make changes if they're losing money. money. Exactly. <laughs> you make money. changes because you're not profitable. Yeah. When you are profitable, you don't make changes because it's working what you're doing. The league, and we could go to a hundred man field, call it the invitationals, call it, the, and we're still fishing for our money. It's still the, the same day. thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And the same, yeah, change hey, and the same, you want. And the same guys are still going to get the same amount of airtime because they caught them. Period. The problem is there's no separation from an invitational guy and a Bass Pro Tour guy. None. There's the same television shows produced with the same backdrop, with the same commentary as the BPT. The invitational shows identical to the BPT. What the league has done is spread themselves out so thin that they now have to thin it out on us. So they're telling us that we're the biggest anchor as the Bass Pro Tour member. We're the biggest anchor and the most costly thing that they got. Making them profitable. And we're costing them money, but the invitational guys are making them money because they're you're fishing for 70% payback or whatever on their entry fees. So I guess that's a big point. James, James, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, what, James? Yeah, that's all right. Don't think I don't miss fishing around here. I know you do. I can come here and get my ass kicked hey, by everybody locally. Hey, what? Is this true? What? I really like how NPFL did the, chose any angler you want to watch live. How is that possible? No. Yes, they do. What? Yeah, they've got they've got some cameras. So they've got some they've got some cameras that are set up. That you can you can jump around and watch anglers. That's but that's they, they still have to have a camera on there. Yes, right? dude. I will say this: I never knew that. Um, that's freaking awesome. Right, that's the next level stuff. That is that's level. When, phenomenal. When, right, right there, guy, yeah. yeah because look, like when, I'm getting online. Okay, shoot, I'm gonna watch James watching on freaking Table Rock doing a spoon. Oh yeah, or, or, or Rocker Plot. Like, like oh, that. looks that's like, see now that Rick Plum just said he's got 24 pounds in live well. Let's go watch. Him good job, right? NPFL. Like I'll always give credit to that is phenomenal because like, there's some guys well, I don't want. I'm going to give credit it, where credit's due. Yes, that's I watched phenomenal. the NPFL. I was I, I commentated on the water. The NPFL is selling a great product to us crackheads. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to it's all about crack. No, it is. No, I it can is. stand up. I can stand up a hundred boat field tomorrow and say I want seventy five hundred dollar entry fees. And there'll be a hundred people sign up for it before they ever look at the payout or yeah. where we're going. I, yeah. That's because it's a needed product. Right. The invitationals are a high dollar gambling place. NPFL is a high dollar gambling place. The Bass Manager League's high dollar. You can go in a casino and you can sit at the smoky five dollar table, or you can sit at the smoky hundred dollar table. Which one do you want? It's a needed product the world needs to pay and get. What's that, Andrew? Say. The sales guys selling companies that tackle warehouse tour was pro profitable for the very first time this year. I, I can't keep like these guys, the comments are, are freaking whatever. I, I I will say this, man, that that is um the impact from a marketing man. standpoint, dude. Like I would love like for like Jane, like if James was in that camera crew and you were on it and they are like, could you imagine? Because there's gonna be certain guys that people are gonna watch over other guys. Dude. Oh, they're gonna watch the Patrick Walters. They're gonna you, watch. And if you went to like sponsors and be like, "Hey, man, this is this is my TV time because it's gonna actually show people that like they should track those numbers." To me, if, that's that would be because there's certain guys aren't gonna get in. Here's the deal: if they were smart, the leagues as a whole, they would actually figure out how to put a camera in every single person's boat that could project live. And we're getting there to the technology wise. And then be able to go to the website 
and fans can actually sit there what they're and wanting. choose yeah. who they want to watch. That would be huge right. because and that's trackable, deliverable. That's right. a trackable and and product. to the point where where you could say I had sixty eight hundred viewers watching right. me for twenty four minutes. And then if you're catching them yeah. and you go and do your job and you sell product, the sponsors will try. Right. That's right. So and, and guys are doing that with their YouTube channels and stuff like that, yeah. but it's still not the same as actual those play to play footage. You well, know, that too. And there's it, to me, there's a certain amount of weight and credentials given to somebody like you and Todd through the fishing world. I know are, are hammers. I'll know you're a hammer. Well, yeah, but you're a recognizable name in the sport. When do guys like us become less recognizable names in the sport? When the Guggen Squad's out there getting thousands and thousands of views. Yeah, but you got to remember those those viewers aren't buyers. Those viewers are just viewers, year old boys. They're just viewers. And once again, it's very easy to get viewership on YouTube. Once again, there's certain things that people and, love. You, and, and that's why we brought, drama yeah. and sex. You know that yeah. it all sells. Yep. Yeah. But it's, but 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 in, in, in what's weird about it is there's it's 50-50 on entertainment and fishing and 50% on learning, right? Which is not like that in any other sport because I'm not watching football to to like learn how to play football better. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Well, so we have a unique but, but it's different because well, once again, football is football's entertainment. Bass fishing is anybody can go do it. If you, I guarantee we're you, way we, more relatable. We, no, we're not because if you go, well, to, some of here's the deal. The one thing that if you looked up on YouTube, the biggest amount of views in fishing is how to tie a polymer. Yeah, knot. number one. Well, information. That's information. what I'm saying. Right. But and, and so and my point going back to all that with James was is that like you've done enough in your career to be credible. Right. And so yeah. Right, right. So he from has. here you're. Now, are you going to have to keep evolving? Yes, but there's still so yeah. much you can, you know, show. But James there. doesn't want to make the change because for him, the easiest platform I, is to sign up for the Bass Pro Tour, go fish, it, hope to go crack. Hundred percent. Once again, the lakes that they're going to, he gets on a toad bite, he gets on a spoon bite, he gets on a plopper bite, he's going to excel, it, and he gets his five in, minutes of fame. In three years, Watson will have figured it out. Oh yeah, it, it, dang, no, I'm it's gonna, dead it's gonna take it's gonna take oh, two and him, a half. It's gonna take him to being cut for yes. him to realize his value. And then he's gonna be like, it, it, "Holy crap! Yes. I should have did this yes. when yeah. Todd and Ish and I were sitting down and they told me not to sign up and go do my." I'm not thing. telling you not to sign up. Okay. I'm what I'm telling you is that you're going. I do. I know how your mind works, dude. I'm you're going. You a huge you're, you're going to be okay, James. You I know I'm going to be okay. No, you are though. I'm not going to. Do that. <laughs> no, you are. No, I'm going to take it away. I take it away. Wait. I don't know what you guys, but I do have tackle. I got tackle. Okay. And so oh, we've been on this for an hour. And how long now? Twenty-seven minutes. And we got seven hundred thousand views. Seven hundred people. Oh yeah, people calling everybody like, dude, you need to watch this. Like these dudes are going off, man. I don't know. Hey, young, young ain't a wait a second. I got one. But if you got a dollar ninety nine and want to say dollar ninety nine, James wants to drive over Espresso to right now. or the Espresso market. Look but I'm going to give some advice to young anglers who want to go tournament fishing, and you do, you do find your own. Want to no? If you think you're going to make lots, it, if you think you're going to make a living with tournament winnings, think another thing. And if you want to, if you want to work and market with companies and be a marketer while you're fishing on their platforms. Ask them to pay you. Don't oh. do it for free. Well, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Don't do it for free. Wait, whoa, whoa, no. whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, no, we're getting all the free black rifle coffee we want for this. Well, you, you guys, did. You, you put it in your truck. I what are you talking about? I'm just I talking. was told that I there was, was some in the garage and there's not any I there. Was so I, don't know. One. I was given one this it's, morning. It's not the fact that they didn't. No, he said it's in the garage. It's not my fault that it's in my truck. He just said it's in the garage and there's none there. I got to, I got to, I got to, uh, I will owe you. That's what? fine. Huh? It don't matter to me. You get one. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I know people. Just because you know people. So I've met someone one time. One time. <clears throat> Stick them in your truck. They're already hey, in truck. What are you talking about? Hey, why? What do you mean? Freeze. Ice hey, coffee. What's crazy is when one blast open in your truck. You well, it's, it's like hey, 24 degrees. What, are you, gonna, what are you going to do on Taylor Road tomorrow? Go to my Instagram. You can see the. Photo I posted. Hey, hey, you know what? 
Paul, is there a code for uh for us still blast off 25? So, hey, Black Rifle Coffee, Blast Off 25. If you don't have a monthly subscription, you can... Uh, Aaron, what, you got them in your pockets? Yes. What are you talking about? With I'm, he can have them. He doesn't have to sneak. Blast Off 25 gives you 25% off your first order. And you get a membership, all right? That means if you want one bag, two bags, 30 days, 60 days, it doesn't matter. Go on there. But more importantly... Get you a cool T-shirt. And if you see, or a hat, or a hat. hat. If you see the dial on Tattoo Elite truck, yes, I have cases. I have none. Or black rifles. Cases. 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 So I'm thinking of the back of the truck because that's how we make money in professional bass fishing. We sell stuff. I, I'm not. I, I, I'm going to do it from when it, doing good in a tournament. Because I'm going to take tournament. Well, regional top. Yeah, regional top. Regional, regional, regional top. Yeah. So because like. No one knows this, but tomorrow, I'm like, I'm gonna go up there. I'm throwing 